Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to my F1 2019 career mode. Day or two break off this. It's your man positively glad, welcoming everybody back. And uh, thank you very much, of course, for watching tonight, of course. Please be sure to drop a like on the video, follow me on the Twitch, and subscribe to me, of course, via YouTube, as is the way. Uh, we come off the back of a very successful Canadian Grand Prix in the end. Um, we actually had a lot of pace in the end, uh, managed to <coughs> hang with people that I didn't expect to. Got 13th highest result of the season, so not to be not to be scoffed at indeed. Um, so we're not doing that bad here at all. We're starting to get a bit of progress now. Cars coming along nicely. We'll notice a real difference when we get to France. Obviously, when we get that aerodynamic upgrade, we're literally going to be smashing out major upgrades in the aero departments. Now we have failed, unfortunately, the clean race upgrade, clean race challenge or target that the team set, which is a little bit fortunate. But in this case, we are going to be working for France, see if we can actually get ourselves a semi-decent race. Um, it is going to be raining at the end of quali, uh, but I don't think we're going to be getting a Q3 anyway, so it shouldn't be too much of an issue. Um, so we're just going to wait for the stream to get loaded. Uh, while I'm loading this up, guys, uh, we're going to get straight to qualifying <coughs> in the French Grand Prix. New pit lane, of course, so it's going to be interesting watching the AI go into that. So let's go. 635 followers, guys, so thank you so much. 9,500 views, fucking hell. John's starting to pick up here. Zoning in on that 10,000 view mark. So let's have a quick bunch here, get this load up. Uh, France, I'm expecting just to come 18th. That's my target, basically. We get a new contract after it. Over to Crofty and Anthony Davidson for the pre-French Grand Prix. The circuit has rubbered in with practice. I don't think we're going to get a speech fed. <laughs> as our drivers fight for pole position. Welcome to qualifying for the French Grand Prix. The competition is certainly heating up as we head into today's qualifying. Some impressive Russell, times in showing up during the make previous practice sessions. Change coming up there as well. Anthony Davidson, do you think we can expect a similar level of skill to be showcased during today's qualifying? Well, I certainly hope Steve so. Right the competition here is extremely tight, and I think we might see some very close times today. Remember, practice isn't just about fastest lap times, though. It's about optimization. It's about ratifying your decisions. No one's going to be sweating small mistakes here and there, but in qualifying, that all changes. You need to nail that perfect lap or face the consequences. And believe me, that's a, a lot Faber. of pressure. And the Alpha. Let's see what we can do here, folks. Should be quite interesting. Seven there, brake pressure 90, tyres, that's perfect. Okay. Fuel load down. Already down already. Sandy, let's go out. See what we can do. Checks complete. All personnel be aware. Be we have a car leaving. See where we end up tonight, guys. Hopefully we get a few viewers as well. Just along for the ride. It says zero on the screen, but there is actually definitely one view. Circuit. Let's see how 4 6 manages. We're stuck with it now. Hopefully, this aerodynamical upgrade gets pushed up straight away, or is it going to be potentially waiting for Austria? For Britain, of course, so. Now that, here we go. This earlier today, but I ended up playing GTA for about three hours. <laughs> Couple of viewers in, guys. Thank you for watching. Really enjoying this French Grand Prix, to be fair. It's a good addition. Not many people agree. Um, some people still think it's a bit dodgy. But I really, really enjoy the track. Really shit Grand Prix around this year. Ooh, that's fine. Slightly annoying. It's coming at up speed, so I think it'll be, I'll beat the Renaults, but I think that's the best I'm going to get here. Maybe challenge Russell. I think the card was my uh, Giovanazzi actually is reliable. I want to beat him. Actually, 
the shot right in front of me. It's kind of annoying. Sometimes a little bit compromised when you put three times stuff on I should be ready. I should have gone 4 7 with her. Here we go. This all is uh, in front of me. This one not the way in a minute. Russell, for fuck's sake. Oh man, they jinked a little bit inside, panicked. A little bit of start, fortunately. Pick up, second set of ties. Little will. In front of me, the Toro got it's a very, very busy pit lane right now. People are coming out. Interesting, guys. Anybody who's watching, please make sure you drop your name in the comments. Get yourselves out there. If you're new to the channel, make sure you drop a follow. Actually, the lights I'm here. It's Faber. Set the time to light at the moment. He's going to be competitive in the second half of the season, maybe potentially even put himself into a top four place in the spot. Let's see if we can get with George. Let's have a look where George is, actually. They're in 10th. Their best lap time is a 1 minute 31. Zero. Just behind George, I think I'll, think I'll beat Ricardo. It's almost a given, really. Slow down a little bit here. Nice little lap 10 see what we can do. Six steps down, that's going to be, um, get to the third sector, I think it's going to be greatly shake. Billy and, hey buddy, um, Billy and, when are you, um, free for the trial? Are you free to this Tuesday, please? League season's obviously up and running out. Man's in Division 1. Quite well. How's life for you, Billy? Anyway, you're right. Billy and I can't even fucking speak tonight, Jesus. Last much better. Okay, very nicely for a change. Okay, this is an awful lap, by the way. It's terrible. Scrapping with Norris and Butler. Just a bit quicker than me at the moment. Yep, exactly where I expected to be. Byron Russell, head of the Renault. Okay, a lot of improvement to be made. Um, we'll go out and do our final run now. Definitely not getting through. So, Austria may get through. We'll see.
When you're ready, Why, thank let's you. Go. That was annoying. <laughs> Third and final run. We're the first guy doing his final run. Q1. Desperate times, of course. Running a uh, medium strategy. Mediums are hard. Probably going soft to hard. Even soft if I'm really, really careful about tyres, but I'm not. So, I just want to run it nice and easily. More comfortable familiar really with this track. Obviously, when we get to the in the RF1 week, um, it's going to be. Uh, let's pause that a minute. Okay, we'll see if we can get you in billion. Uh, you'll be in for the Spain trial. Let's get yourself practicing that, mate. Finished directly behind me in Spa in F1 2012. I do remember that. <laughs> memory like an memory like an elephant. And the ability of one at the moment in this career mode is not hitting the high notes this season at all. No points. Oh, for the fourth gear, let me do that. Sticking fifth. be a hell of a lap. At least be an improvement. Big improvement here. Come on. Oh, much better. Oh, that's, that felt much better. Improving enough, unfortunately. Yep. Nice to done that. Nice lap, this. Been a good one. Yes! Come on, beat Russell. <coughs> yeah, it's just, to be fair, I mean, obviously it depends on what your pace is. It's been interesting to see where you end up. We may see some rain. ETA is about 15 minutes. Only two tips off line on Norris, that's not bad. There's Butler. Fucking Butler's miles up there. Oh, Russell's improved. Eating. Ah, miles off. Ooh, Ricardo, beat Ricardo. Okay. Lots of room to improve. Um, 18th. I was hoping for a cheeky victory of Russell, but obviously the times are still improving a lot, but obviously it's the end of the session. So... Track is a lot more, and I went out on a semi-green track as well because I was the first one round on my final lap. But P18, not bad. I'm actually going to go and take some penalties here, guys, as well. I want to have a nice clean race here. I don't want to... Well, I'm going to take a five... I'm going to take a gearbox penalty. Get the car fully upgraded aerodynamically and then work on the gearbox. Um, I think that's probably an ideal way to do it. Flying through this race so far. Episode number 30 in the career mode. So me and Russell are very equal. Uh, obviously I've gone for Giovinazzi, uh, basically just because like, I'm not facing him yet and he is in a slow car. But fuck it, we'll give myself a bit of an easy chance. He 
is just an easier challenge. So, expecting me to come 17th, that's kind of annoying, but... Uh, Renault has a Ferrari. Okay. Ferrari like that. It's intriguing. Bad luck in qualifying. That's not exactly ideal. But there's no points for Saturday. Keep a cool head and make up for it in the race. We're going to fall behind the Renaults here. I want a nice, clean thing. I'm running on like 36%, so I don't want to... I now have a fallback method. Uh, gearbox is 38. Uh, so guys, for those of you who are new to the stream, um, I am having a pretty dog rough season. I actually lowered the AI as well. Went from 105 to 101, which is why I'm so much more competitive. I'd be basically just scrapping with you on if it wasn't. Um, but I, uh, P13 is my highest result of the season. Uh, lots of DNFs. Monaco, I was devastated with that DNF. Got to like 20 fucking 4. Lost the wing and just lost it completely. Lost my head. And my wheel. Um, obviously George Russell hasn't exactly had the best of seasons. Um, Signs has been awful at times as well. I beat Signs around Baku, remember that? Um, and was catching Ricardo at the end. Remember I had two wing changes in Baku as well. Um, so where I expect to be at the end of the season, I'll be honest with you, um, it's sort of leaving Renault completely. I want to be the ninth best team. Obviously, it depends if, say for example, if we are rumoured to go to Renault, we're going to Renault. Um, if we're rumoured to go to Alfa Romeo, we're going to Alfa Romeo. Anything that I'm rumoured with, we are going with. McLaren have absolutely smashed development in the last few races. But we are going to be doing the same thing too. So, um, going on to the performance chart. I'll show you that really quick, guys, before I go for a quick smoke. Um, with two aerodynamical upgrades, um, which is why it was struggling so much, why it was so far at the back. The chassis was still okay. But one major upgrade, and we are then once again competing with Haas and Toro Rosso. So we are then at the, the arse end, shall we say, of the points. Red Bull are just about with McLaren, so it's a really, real 50 50 squabble with that side of it. Uh, yeah, Billy, not a problem, man. Like, get yourself practiced up, um, see what you can do. Uh, if you've got, I think you've still got me as a friend, Billy, haven't you? If you haven't made it, it's an RF1 uh, with the space, uh, pause glad with the space, and then 84. I'll tell you what, I'll put it in the chat for you. If anybody else wants to add me on Xbox, do some racing from time to time, let me know. I really might even hold some of my gamer segment. I'll be back in two minutes, just going for a smoke.
Right then, here I am, Morg, putting a hell of a performance. In the CSR race, I came 17th, as you do. <laughs> Spun off at the long right hand, I lost my wing and was just at the back all race. Anyway, uh, that is for a different time. We're going to go now to the race in France. Let's go. P18 on, well, P20 on the grid it'll be, with 744.749% times by A, B squared, C, D, Z penalties. Um, <laughs> so, um... Uh, we've got a new Division 1 racer, of course, guys. Uh, that'll be Morgs. He'll be um, ready to roll. Uh, and Stan Amraro commentating tomorrow, but over to the French Grand Prix across the United Davison report coming up. Welcome to Le Castellet as we return Six from across the Atlantic guys. for the 2019 French Grand Prix. Reintroduced to the Formula 1 calendar just last year. No I'm doing my strategy. I know what I'm doing. The circuit, Paul Ricard, where racing legends... It's such an underrated track, this. It's almost like the races in real life are too afraid to race each other around here. Fettel, like... A commanding victory from Lewis Hamilton gave us a brilliant race last year. What, I wonder, will it actually have still got damaged knuckle, actually. Season? Um, banging on a cupboard. <laughs> yeah, the helicopters are flying normally, fuck. I a bit when they were just wankers, to be fair. Six to the left and nine to the right. With the main overtaking chance, Turn 12 is my least favorite corner on the whole of this track. Can't get older. <laughs> Unless you're in a Renault and it's like 114. It's just abysmal in this career mode. Alongside me once again for coverage of today's race, it's none other than the great Anthony the Davidson. The great Anthony it's Davidson, bow before the gun. does have a high learning curve and, of course, little tolerance for mistakes. So it's Vettel in the championship from Bottas and Hamilton. Andy Davison hasn't been paid to speak today. Grid for today's race. And Fucking pay cut there. I was going to be up there too. Bottas, Vettel, Max Verstappen, and Stroll, Weber, oh, Perez, Stroll's Butler, sake, and really? Sainz, I was going to hold the field up a lot of first. Gasly and Grosjean. Norris, Magnussen, George Russell, and Daniel Ricciardo, Giovinazzi, and Thomas. And with lights out just moments away, it's time it's to cool go down. It's cool the F2 drivers in there too. You can't have a career mode without them. People who, um, like, skip the F2 really, really are missing out. We're expecting a finish in the top 17. See what you can do. Okay. Back on the field bridge. Fresh components, we're going to be running a 4 6 wing. Here's my setup, guys, if anyone's wondering. Uh, made myself. Um, let's fire that through for you. Let's get going. Making my own setups now. So I'm starting somewhere before turn 14, I believe. Arrival is Giovinazzi. Shut up. As things stand, we'll be 18th in the championship. I want to get, I want to get one points finish this season. I want to bag a points finish. There's a few tracks I'm really good at. Later in the season, I want to work on the second half of my season. See, the one rule I have in this crema, guys, um, to a team, I have to sign for them at the end of the year. It's the one rule we have. I pray it's not Renault. I pray it's not Renault. I'm out of another season like this season. No Jesus. God, this actually feel really good around here, to be fair. Well, look, wherever it's some rumour to, at the end of the season, I'm going there. So that is the promise I've made. So it's not going to be a Williams crib. If I don't get a rumour though, I stay at Williams. That's the deal. It's taken off my car quite far back. So, through P20. 
starting grid. Starting a grid slot, shall we say. So anything higher than that, I'll get some extra R&D points. Need two, I think I need about 180, I think, to get the engine upgrade for Austria. If I don't get that amount of points, I will be... I will be saving up for my next aerodynamical upgrade. Here we go. It's a good start. Going through the clean race here, it's going to be quite difficult because it's all bloody out. Look at so as you have an seat, let's go hold it. So we should be okay, we are falling back here, that's kind of annoying. Okay, now stay alert for threats around you. Close with a dive bomb up there. Also clear both harsh cars, that's interesting. Nazis in my sights. So P20, this should change here. We've got a more powerful engine than it. Renault, here we go. I'm wide. I'm here, switch back, sort of a deep switch back attempt. So, and we're going to just literally go to my mistake. Just sitting pretty at the moment. Ricardo, I just feel sorry for Ricardo. Three wing. Jesus, I'm not making any progress right now. My time will come. Cast a drift here at the bottom of the fucking table. It's kind of annoying. This is quite strong around here. These tyres are going to go forever, by the looks of it. This tyre wear regulated setup here. Ooh, hello. Which makes sand. Having another scrap, Ricardo. Oh, he's nudged me wide there. He's nudged me wide there, but here we go. Rare overtake for pause. 18. I know it's once again coming together. Giovinazzi causing more issues for Ricardo. Not no end, it's so up to P18. It means I can focus on my own race now. Stunning overtake that, by the way. Opportunistic. Oh, I did have a warning from that push from Ricardo. That's a bit naughty, to be fair. This now should be ourselves in P18, pretty much permanently, you'd imagine. Barring retirements, which would be very handy for myself.
smooth on the breeze so far. One on the curb. This keeps going this way, I'll be doing medium to softs, but obviously I'm not going to be doing that. Really sort of the tie wear out on this setup, fucking hell. Buzzing with it to be fair. Right down now, it's good stuff. Yellow flag, something's happened up front. I don't even look and see what it is. Potential crash of sorts. Okay, clear. There's a yellow flag there, I don't know what happened at all. I know France is a habit of throwing up AI crashes. on this race, that'd be fantastic. I don't think I will, though. 5-8. Gap to teammate ahead is 1.5 seconds. They're on fresh mediums. The time last lap was a 1.36.4. It's 4, okay. I want to know his fastest lap, though. So I'm keeping pace with Grosjean and Russell, that's intriguing. It's now medium for me. It's a cheeky lifting coast. It has, of course, left now. So we're going to sit on medium ERS. Stand a, stand a few. Push on, just thinking, fuck you, I'm going for this. Well, lad, anybody new to the stream, please make sure you drop a follow. Watching on YouTube, make sure you slam that like button. I've got a load of YouTube videos to upload, by the way. Myself and Russell, I've got to go at it in a minute here. Let's go for this, and then we've, no, we've pulled out of it, pulled out of it, pulled out of it. It could have been a over, nice overtake, but I didn't want to. For me, issues, it's good start. Renault's a goner in this race, so that's fine. Nearly in my target position. You're managing it well. Targeting each race now is P17. It basically is like the um, 2017 Crow and McLaren. It's Maka versus Sauber. P17 is your target for the moment. Probably for the remainder of the season based on the difference between the cars. No point pushing. We think the car behind might be struggling with fuel issues. See if you can increase the gap. Struggling in fucking general, is it? Oh, ah, uh, fuck that. Right, let's calm down. Let's let the ERS get set up 70 80% more. And then fight back again. Toro also struggling up front. That's P13. P14, sorry. Really quiet race from here so far, to DRS, okay, happy days, so lots of shit that we've done here on Grosjean. That's to be expected. So if we've all oh, bit of a bit looser on that corner. I'm trying to underfeel my car next race. Well, so far, lift the coast over here. Oh my goodness me! Over speed there. My nose is just doomed. Start.
Tom Wilson is really struggling in front. Also kicked a bit of dirt off the outside then. Intense race so far. Amazing amounts of room. A bit wide. Brilliant! Got him! Fantastic move there by myself. It's a fucking change. Right. So now we can concentrate. Now we can work it. Great fucking move there by myself. It's the pit window ever tells me. Racing a long while, I'm not looking behind me. Ooh, that's a bit of a dodgy exit. It's a really special effort for me to get the points here this season. Um, at the moment, there is a big bottle up there between Devin Butler's actually up there. It's either Butler or Alba, I think it's Butler. One day, guys, I promise you. So, we're going to go into Renault. I don't know exactly what I have to do with it. just basically just improve the car. Simplicity of it, really. DRS and Grosjean. So, we're going to go battling for 16th place. Okay. Pretty good. Struggling here in 13th place, not three miles away from the lap car. McLaren's really struggling, that must be a problem for the McLaren, they're much quicker than that usually. But saying that, the other McLaren's only just in front. The cars are pitting already! Potential two stop here. Oh my god, that, I was like, where the fuck are you going? It's a, oh, that's a warning, of course. I'm not looking forward to this pit lane. It's going on to the middle, oh, we fucked up it. That's just going on to the hards. No one's stopping. Oh, man, come off it. I'll be able to put three seconds on Russell, not a problem. Just literally chilling out at the moment. No real need to push. I need to be able to put three second penalty on over me again. Two of them are absolute crooked, so there was a little bit of chip and then if I get a fourth warning, it just kind of bounces out really.
signs ahead. Gap to car in front is 0.9 seconds. They're on old mediums. Their tires are nine laps old. Very much up in the right corner. That is really stop. annoying. The time last lap was a 1.37.6. Very bumpy signs. Just slow. Slow. by 1.6 seconds a lap. Maybe DRS up on the signs then. Dive bomb. Amazingly no damage. Take a warning there, that would have been the penalty, but that was a fantastic double overtake. Myself and Lucas Weber. That was thrilling. Second penalty. So I've been caught the up ahead is coming to fit the mediums. Car ahead, now running medium tires. No pits him. Gasly is there as well. So Gasly's gonna be fighting for the lead here. So Gasly and Weber. Oh, he's yet to pit. Oh, just walk behind. I may have to take a minute off guys. Still, I should be six. Jesus. So we appear less than we have on the track scrap. Oh, the warning. This is a problem here on France. One minute, guys. I'm just gonna let guys are free. Maybe back to bed. Okay, we straight. lost the position. Us down the place. Don't worry. Don't worry about it, Jeffrey. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. straight and then see the baby. Bed. Losing time here. Right, guess one minute.
There you are, guys. Sorry about that. Um, so the, I've got the race director on me. I'm in P7, which is crazy in itself, but I'm going to be traversing the pit lane coming up. Here we go. Come on, come on. Straight in the middle. Here we go. Nice one. Back into it. The thing is, we're going to be following the racing points who are very, very quick. As we call them in, we christen them in RF1 no point racing cars. We are two times a second. We're still doing pretty well on these tyres, but I just want to get a fresh set of boots on. One day I'll be up that front. When I hear a rumour send me to racing point, I'll be going. <laughs> Well, who's going to occupy the Williams seat if I go? Let's see, we're not exactly doing too badly. Gap to teammate behind is 2.6 seconds. They're on. This is a couple of attempts at a second quicker than him. The time last lap was a 1 minute 37.9. See, Russell had a lot of traffic in the last lap. I've got a similar problem here, and we're not going to be yielding to Bottas. Traverse this pit lane for the fourth time ever. Okay. It's not bad. 37 miles an hour, we hit it perfectly. Sign talk about Ricardo Giovinazzi both still battling amazing. Oh no, one of them's going to the pit, okay. Okay, here we go. So the Haas car of Magnussen was in front of me anyway. Toro Rosso is struggling down there. Lando Norris. So we're going to be fighting in Norris coming out of the pits here. Lando Norris. We've actually overtaken Norris. So potential damage here for Norris earlier in the race. Now we can really just focus on my race now. Getting up there. So we are in P17, P18 with two cars to pit. So we are in P16 net. That's pretty handy. Nice little hot lap here. We're going to run in and overtake down the straight, of course. So that pit lane was a fucking nervy fucking thing, I tell you. I've been worried about that all the way through this weekend, and I've traversed it very nicely. I don't have to do that for another 21 races, which is pretty cool. <coughs> Hopefully. Toro is quicker than me, so we're going to watch out here. Very, very, very good outlap so far. Russell's going to be hounded by quicker cars as well, so... Seconds to Norris, to, sorry, not Norris, um, Magnuson. Let's see if we can kind of keep that at about seven for the end. Don't want to get another warning because that's going to really, really put me in jeopardy of losing out to Russell again. So he's in the pits, but it's a long, it's probably, it's become one of the longest pit lanes on the calendar now. George is in the pits, George in the pits. Norris will overtake me, you'd assume. There's a few cars I can come out in front of here. I thought there's one of them, so we're P15. Nice, okay. So then it's quite behind the Renaults, so we should hopefully stay in the last the whole race now. So we're P16. Can I go into overtake mode? No, I'm going to avoid overtake mode this lap. If Norris gets me, he gets me. Oh, fuck it, we'll do it. So we over the pace, it's going to take toll with the RS. We've got a little bit of straight line speed, which is good. All the room in the world, give me a little bit of a nose, nose width there. Seconds. Well, a couple of on the other guy. Renault is just doomed, basically, in this race. Solid Grand Prix for me here. I need to basically put... 
three more seconds on Russell, which is going to be an issue. Some information on Verstappen. They have some kind of mechanical problem. Verstappen mechanical problem. That's intriguing. He's really, really far up the, up the order, though. So it should... He's not really, is he? Gap to teammate behind is 3.1 seconds. Norris going to have a little look at the inside of me here. Not going to get the job done. to fight. Norris is one of my favourite AIs to battle as well. We're not really losing to have the Grosjean either here. Cornering ability is just letting us down. The downforce is shite. Sticking with the Haas cars, this is these are the two teams above us. Devon Butler is overperforming at the moment, as you can see, he's holding it pretty much the entire field. Okay, gap ahead is 2.2 seconds. That's where we are right now, we are P15, so it's not exactly the worst performance in the world. I'm still struggling how to take that corner. For Division 1, that's going to be a real issue. to run unfortunately in that was it this lap so Grosjean is just round the corner Norris where he's going we'll catch Grosjean it's close to the room under my car there it's a much better lap we're leading our teammate by 3.9 seconds they're on fresh hearts they're in 70 oh I fucked up I fucked up I fucked up 6 tenths per second quicker than Russell that last lap. All I really wanted to do is beat George. Like I know I've got penalties, I'm expecting the next penalty in the next few laps. Just unfortunately we've been given this track really. Hi ERS, see if that makes a difference. Should be able to get the medium. Really fun race this actually. Fortunately we've not got the viewership which it deserves to be fair. Really, really good Grand Prix, but obviously I'm inconsistent uploading this, so Attempts to stay right in the rhythm, so I've got the tyre attempts right at least anyway. Break the tyre pressures, etc. That's pretty good, that's good to know. I'm actually dealing with that right. Norris is quicker. Much quicker. Okay. We're catching the car ahead, but be aware that these tyres need to last till the end of the race. The car behind is gaining on you by five tenths a lap. That speed is really helping us, Williams. It's an inevitability about this, but. Great move by Norris. move, which means I can now focus on Russell completely. So Russell is just doing bits, man. Much better than I am at the moment. Okay, six seconds of power gives me something to work for. I know right now I'm almost in comfortability mode. 
the ice, so that's going to help me. That's going to really help me. At this stage of the Grand Prix. Ten laps to go. There it is. Okay. Now I know what I need to do. Very harsh warnings, but it is what it is. I'm losing up to Grosjean now. I'm actually sticking with him too, so not truly. That's all that. Lines because the lines are much better than my own. We advise moving to mix two, fuel to mix two. Stick him in Norris, and he's beginning to catch Grosjean ever so slightly. Half a second on the fast lap again, so it's very consistent running this. Gap to teammate with seconds. Stop just to edge a couple more times. I've got to edge a few more out on him. Smooth through sector one for a change. Seven, and we're going to have DRS again helping me out. Signs is going to catch Russell. Seven, coming. Hey, I'm going to go ahead and stand up. Fuck it, we'll stand up a bit. We'll drop back off. At least a little bit. I want to try and save the engine temperature a little bit now. Well and truly, that's the bottom two teams right now. Austria coming, I have high fucking hopes. Both red balls are out of the points, that's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. Just under eight laps to go. Ooh, that's a dodgy corner. That's a dodgy ass corner. We're gonna have to ride that gonna ride that gonna be up. We're leading our teammate by 5.0 seconds. They're on fresh hearts. They're in 17th. The time last lap was a 1 minute 36.0. That's atrocious. What a bad line through that corner. Out of DRS range, of course, now. There's Russell putting on a tenth on me there because of a terrible for the second. Science isn't really making an impact on Russell yet. So that's what I'm hoping for Science about 24, 25 ish. Slightly closer to Grosjean. But of course it's OP as fuck. I think Butler's actually going to get points here. He's got a flag. Who's that? Some Oh, we've only really gone to the pits there. Okay, some information on Magnuson. They've got a serious car Position issue. gained. It looks like they're Brilliant. retiring. Green, Green flag. Green flag? We're racing again. Drop down about 5.0. Nice. Oh, that 
It's just stupid. I didn't need to make that corner cut. Really struggling with. Learning when I'm where to ride the curbs. I know we're in P18, P18, P19 good drive for them now. Sad to say that classifies as a good drive. I'm gonna get it. Nip and tuck of a beat Russell, to be honest with you. Trying to break the toe of me there, I wasn't three miles behind it. behind the cars in front. This really helped me get through here. Fast up the race here, if I can get lucky. Race pace much better. Qualifying pace again. Now, Boris going to get it too, though, so it's going to be literally a Constantino effect. Boris didn't get it. So now, well, back of Lando again, who is catching the illusion. Intriguing. Oh, we right up here. Exceptionally good race here for myself, I understand it. Oh well. Tricks. Another half a second taken off the time. Showing its true potential. George behind the gap to the car behind is 6.9 seconds. They're on old hearts. They're so tired of the that laps off. Look at the time. All the end was a nice guys. Nice match for Stappen. Stappen is going very slowly. I 
have to have another nap of it, guys. Give me a minute, guys. I'm sorry, this is ridiculous. Back again, guys. Let's go. So much for seven back at the speed. There's one absolute remaining. No more one remaining. No more warnings, please. Signs has got Russell, which may help me. Don't get another warning, however, I will be P15 at this rate. So if I don't get another warning, that's a long shot. Let's uh, they fixed the problem. It was all the way out the points. Both Red Bulls outside the top 10 here. For any of, anybody in terms of Team Blue. because France is notorious for corner cutting. I know that already. Having a really, really good race so far. Don't want to ruin it. Just rocking around at the moment. It's been just a fall back. Another good solid performance here by myself. It's I'll take the penalties away. This has been a fantastic drive to be fair, but it's not two laps to go. This car of Grosjean is really not with it at all in this Grand Prix. Really, really good drive for myself. This car is behind. Okay, the gap behind is 6.4 seconds. They're on old hard. Their tyres are 12 laps old. The time last lap was a 1 minute 34.4. I'll fall to use overtake this 
straight. We have two laps of fuel remaining. If I get a penalty, that's me 17th, which is an absolute failure in my eyes. Got to beat George in every Grand Prix coming up. actually it's just been proven that I'm better than the guys around me which I guess is where you want to be the Renault is still coming 20 or 25 seconds down I've got Giovinazzi that's given cheap 500 points here it's going to go on an absolute tirade and upgrade the car which I prefer if I end up the next season this is your final lap final lap of the race Slap. I get a penalty, I get a penalty. Our gap to the car in front is 2.0 seconds. The not to. Signs has got me. Russell is nowhere near. Chris Weber again. Chris Weber has, Weber has got himself a. Uh, Braves is called on the chat, so... Just keep... no warnings, no warnings. Teammate position. We're leading our teammate by 8.4 seconds. They're on old hearts. They're in 17th. The time last lap was a 135.1. Proving my number one driver for once. Um, Make it. P15 across the line. Get in there. Okay, pick up rubber and bring it home. Get in there, come on. Unhappy about the penalties, but take it. Get in there, fucker. Cheers, Ray. Thank you. So I've got to play the stream. And a fantastic win for it's Alpha Romeo. with another win. What Two wins this season already. Recent with this guy last season, Jesus. I mean, we can talk driver skill all day, but if you don't have a solid team to back that, you're never going to get anywhere. When you hit that sweet spot of having both an excellent driver and an incredible car, that's when you see results like Hulkenberg those. Sixth. He's going to be disappointed seeing his teammate win and Hulkenberg yet another non-podium so finish. Come now, out onto the podium. It's thrilling to see this team go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the best Weber, teams of the Leclerc sports and Gasly. And come out on top. No Mercedes in sight. From the Alfa Romeo team. Wow. I hope it's going to be champion this year, I reckon. That's going. Funny feeling. Side of Red Bull. Outside of the top four teams, it's anybody's to play for now, especially with me improving. So let's review the driver standings. Sebastian Vettel will be very That's happy the with that result. The as he extends his championship lead. Let's focus on the driver of the day, Anthony Davidson. Who do you pick? Well, you put me in a bit of a tight spot today, but I think I'll go for Pierre Gasly. What a tight spot, shut up. He kept a cool head under pressure and made the most of some difficult circumstances. It's time to check out the constructors' standings. It was a tough race for our championship leaders who lose ground at the top of the table. There was also a strong showing from the McLaren team today as they make their way up. Clown themselves well, up in P7, as fantastic do Toro. Weekend of racing. Thanks to everyone who joined oh, us. Of we'll 10, like in P9. 55, 42. Oh man, I was so close to being inside. There you go. Sadly, I remain in P18 because I didn't manage to get a higher result than 13th. That, ladies and gentlemen, will change. So this is 
big times for us. I'm going to go P. I'm going to keep 17 and 17. Great work out there today. Let's have your thoughts. It was good. It was very good. That was a good race for Lucas. Are you pleased to see him doing well? Increased. Okay. Lucas's win today was an improvement over last weekend, wasn't it? Moves up. You were cutting your way through the field during the race. Grip. Lost power. Damn it. You had a close battle today, didn't you? <laughs> Great. Answered well, all four thing. questions, which is a rarity for me. Five views, guys. Peaking at five. Thank you very much for watching. Well, peaked at six. So, thank you for watching, especially when I'm clashing with match of the day. Good effort there. Thank you. And Mooking at 01. Z's top and Sneaky Wolf. The three viewers tonight. Thank you very much for watching. Mooking, if you haven't followed, please be sure to do so. Shout out for you for staying tuned. Of course, now. What do we next? I don't even know. So we're actually beginning to catch Russell C. 90. Ugh. Oh, fucking how comfortable. Comfortable shit. Mercedes we improve with. Renault we improve with. Racing point we improve with. Williams? Oh, of course, I lost team goal, didn't I? Great work. That's exactly the kind of result I'm looking for. Yeah. Keep it up. That is fantastic. Uh, first driver, medium. Uh, race bonus, we're going to roll three. Three. They aren't coming round to that point. <laughs> Let's try something else. Our proposal has been accepted. Brilliant. The new contract will take effect on the next Fantastic. Um, so, uh, now we can do that. I believe we've got enough of the engine. It's tell me not to upgrade the engine. Okay. Uh, wow, I probably need to, actually. Alpha at top of everything. Colors world star. I'm going to upgrade it anyway. Hopefully we can... If it passes, this is fantastic. If it doesn't, then I'm in shit. So see, we're so far in front of Renault, it's ridiculous. At Aero, we're going to be with Renault. So you'll notice the car will begin to perform a lot better moving forward. Uh, we've got a message. Yeah, amen to that. A couple of dodgy corners. That was a really, really good thing from... Ironically, from Jeff. <laughs> Oh, and we're at Austria. How oh, I've waited to race you again. Oh boy, after last season. Points around Austria last season. I think it was P6 in a train race. And what's the worst car this time last season? So it'll be interesting to see if I need these components. Do we have any driver swaps? They're going to be swapping out. I know Hungary is definitely one, usually. Okay. No driver swaps. Okay. They both passed! Yes! Come on, man! And a dry race. Oh, this is looking for it's sexual. 15th or better. I'm having me some of that. I'm having me fucking some of that. Renault, oh, we've done a big improvement. All the cars improved. Red Bull are now in the bottom half. Ferrari third, Mercedes second. And what the fuck do we do next? And 
as it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for watching. Please be sure to drop a follow on the Twitch channel, like the video, subscribe on the YouTube, get yourself in the link down below. It's on the it's on the channel. This is Positively Lad. Take it easy. Much love. All the best. Austria next. Can't fucking wait.